The new normal, French commuting post-lockdown style. The country begins easing restrictions today, albeit gradually, but those able to return to work will have to maintain social distancing rules. Ministers who had first go at the new procedures are aware of the difficulties. In the Ile-de-France region, Paris in the wider area, the challenges are considerable. There are usually five million people in the city using public transport. And now, during rush hour, we will have to divide that number by five. France, like many nations in Europe, has bowed to pressure and is reopening shuttered businesses and aspects of life amid worries that relaxing restrictions too much could ignite a second wave of coronavirus infections. The reopening of schools is a significant indication of countries trying to move forward. Greece, which acted swiftly to impose a lockdown after its first COVID-19 case, is allowing final year students back from today, although they'll attend classes on different days. In Spain, customers can order a beer in a terrace bar, but along with restaurants, they will not fully reopen until June the 10th. It's part of the government's four-stage plan to roll back one of the strictest lockdowns in Europe. Even Britain, which has the continent's most deaths from the virus and a prime minister who came close to dying from it himself, has announced a modest easing of its lockdown, but with provisos. We will be monitoring our progress locally, regionally and nationally. And if there are outbreaks, if there are problems, we will not hesitate to put on the brakes. Johnson may have one eye on Germany, which has seen a rise in coronavirus infections just days after lifting some of its lockdown restrictions. Many in Europe may feel a modicum of relief this week, but as the UK Prime Minister said, we've been through the initial peak, but it's coming down the mountain that's often more dangerous. Even Laverick, Euronews.